and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and thanks very much for joining me again today. Today's video is another one for Tonic Studios and I'm introducing the latest showcase die set and this one is called Scenic Sentiments. Now it's a very large A4 size die set that comes inside this large wallet that fits inside one of the large storage folders but I've just taken it out of that to show you it a bit more clearly. The dies are all on acetate and then backed onto a magnetic sheet which is really really handy for whenever you take them off that to use. So first of all we'll have a look at the packaging here and there are some samples and some ideas there for you to use and you can see already that the idea for this one is probably to have some very very colourful cards and projects from it. There's a, a peacock, butterfly, some tropical leaves and then hibiscus so they, they really speak to me as if they should be really really colourful. So first of all I have picked out the peacock because I just you know my favourite colour and all of that. So first of all I have die cut some of these just to show you what's already in them. There is this rectangle which is the basis for all of these. The rest of the dies are verso so they will be matted onto this and you can cut them out on um, different colours and add them onto the back of that. So I'll, I'll show you exactly what they look like. These are just sitting loosely here because I haven't done anything with them yet apart from cut them out. So what I actually did was just taped the rectangle die, that's this one, and then each corresponding die onto the card that I was using. So you need both of these together to make one die cut and in all of that, I'll show you down here, you can see it better, you'll need both of those dies together each time you'll need this rectangle along with the corresponding die. So there's a beautiful butterfly, a full on butterfly and then a side on butterfly, some gorgeous hibiscus. Now these are all, as I can see, they're all sort of slightly off centred so that they come to the left hand side and corner of the die cut so you can really work with this to make a beautiful background and this one is an open window or a door or whatever and then a beautiful tropical plant inside and what's got to be my favourite basically just because of the colour I can imagine that in is that beautiful peacock. There are sentiments as well so I'll show you those. We've got thinking of you just to say Thank you, best wishes, and there is one more. And wouldn't you know, my last one did a runner so I had to die cut it again, but sending love as well. And then each of them have little backing plates. So as you can see, this is just an example, but each of those sentiments have one. And you can cut that out in a different colour and then that will stand out on your card. So I have an idea for this and I hope it works. I'm going to go ahead with it anyway, but what I wanted to say first of all is you could paper piece a lot of these pieces back in so make sure you hold on to them all but the bit, the bit that I really liked here was, I'll just show you it on this one, now let me find the one, that's it, the butterfly. I thought if you held on to this large piece here you could put it back in again after you had possibly um, painted that. So I'm thinking maybe watercolour pencils in blue and make a tiny little palette for yourself on a piece of card and then give that a wash and have that like a sky background and set that back in again and you could do that for all of them so just hold on to those large pieces that come out at the side there and I'm sure you'll find a use for them just don't throw those away. So I've picked myself out some card I'll just sort it out and I'll be back with you in two ticks. So I've picked out the peacock because it, that's my favourite one and I have die cut the rectangle in white and I have die cut the rectangle and the peacock one in white and I'm just going to add some of this Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, it's nice and fine, onto the back of this. Now just take your time and make sure you don't make any big sort of splodges or whatever on that. You want this really fine so that it doesn't come out onto the card underneath whenever you press it down because I'm going to back this one onto the, the white and then add it onto my card. I just want to make sure it's going to work out first and I'll add it onto the card at the end. Now 
for this bit I have lifted out a couple of brushes. These are my Nouveau brushes, paint brushes, and I have lifted out some sparkle spray. So this is, um, I'll just get the names of them for you. I've got Wispy Willow, I have Marine Mist, and of course I've got Peacock Plume. And I'm just going to spray those into the corner. Well, there's no corners and circles, but you know what I mean. I'm going to spray them inside this little container, just a little bit each. Don't worry if they all merge together because that's part of the idea. So I, I want to add this into the centre of the peacock. idea I had with using the three colours together was so that I could just pick up a little bit of different pieces of it with my brush and try to get that lovely feel that you get off a peacock where the colours just blend into each other and it changes with the light. So I think I've got that there and now I'm going to go ahead and paint the feathers as well. I'm going to add some frosted lemon into here. And then I've got a mixture of apple spritzer, wispy willow and frosted bough that I'm going to use for the rest of the um, feathers there. So I'll go in first with this for the centre and then I'll mix the rest in after that. That's it all painted and I have backed it onto a piece of turquoise lake glitter card and that is 10 and a half centimetres by 13 and a half. And I don't know if you can catch the sparkle in that but it certainly is very very shiny. I'm going to add that onto the, the front of this A6 card but I've also picked out the sentiment and I was going to add best wishes so as you can see I cut that out in white and added it onto some ocean blue card and I was going to put that on there but I felt it was just a little bit too heavy. Now that may be what you like to have that backed on like that but I thought because of the sort of filigree type of thing there that it might be best to have that tying in with the background and also with no backing plate on it so I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down and I think that has turned out really well and I'll, I'll add that onto the card. For my second card I've taken another A6 blank and I have cut out the background with the rectangle die in the ocean blue card and I've cut out the butterfly one using both of the dies, the background one and the inlay one. And now I've taken two pencils from the classic colour pencils 
and these are the brilliantly vibrant and I have picked out True Blue and Scuba Blue and I'm just going to add some detail into the centre of the butterfly but I've gone ahead just before I've done that and sharpened these and made sure I've got a really really good point so that I can get into the centre there. This one was a lot more simple than the last card, but I think it's very effective too. I've backed that on to some uh, Denim Ripple Speciality card. And you can just about see the pattern there, but you can see it in real life. And I have trimmed down the card to 11.5 centimetres by 14.5. I've actually just done the same with this one as well, because I thought it looked better with without the broader border at the top and bottom. I'm going to glue, sorry, going to, yes, glue this on here. But I have die cut the little thank you and I want to add that just where the loop of the butterfly's antenna is and glue that onto the card there and then I'm going to add some morning dew crystal drops and that's my card finished. two different cards with the same die set. I hope you've enjoyed that. There's actually loads more I could be doing with that but I'm actually going to be doing a little blog post review of it as well so I'll put the link of that down below and that will maybe give you some more ideas but there's so many different ways you can use this. Um, this one obviously took a little more time but I think it turned out that it felt like it was worth my while anyway and I hope you like it so this one was a lot simpler. Either way I think they're really nice and I hope you enjoy using them if you get them as well. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that and give the video a thumbs up and come back again and see me very soon. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so then you'll know that uh, there's another video once it arrives. And I'll add all my links to the products that I've used down below in the description and most of those will probably be affiliate links so thank you once again for everyone who, who uses those. So. In the meantime, bye bye. Here's a little tip just to tidy this up if you haven't been as neat as you could have been. I was happy enough with that until I went to take the photographs and when I did I noticed that there was some of this had smudged probably whenever I was pressing it down because I hadn't left it long enough to dry. So it's gone over the white lines of the die cut there and there's really no way that you could cover that up apart from doing this and this actually is a really good trick and it really actually helps the look of the whole card I think. So take another die cut exactly the same and just glue it on top there and that will cover all of that up and it will just look perfect at the end. So I'll go ahead and glue that on now and in the final photographs the one you'll see will be the one with the two die cuts. <laughs>